Hello and welcome to the next installment of Family Fun Day. I'm Elise Solomon, the Director of Learning and Engagement at the Taft Museum of Art. Today's project is inspired by the Adoration of the Magi, a tapestry created in the 1500s in Brussels. Have you ever stopped to think about how fabric is made? Well, if you take a closer look at this tapestry, you will see thousands of individual threads that are woven together to create through this incredible work of art. It would have taken hours to make this. Well, today we are going to try our hand at weaving. All right, let's get started. So what supplies do we need to make sure that we have before we, we dive into our craft? So you need to make sure that you have a piece of cardboard for your loom. You need to make sure you have some tape, some string, and I've got a variety of different kinds of string here. Um, a ruler of some sort, I'm using my tape measure. Um, some scissors, a marker, um, and then some other scraps too. So like, again, I'm using some different uh, materials for my weaving later. So this is the part for an adult to help out. So what I did was I cut off a piece of cardboard from one of the many packages I've had delivered to the house. Um, and then I have measured about an inch apart um, different marks here so that way I can make my cuts to help start creating my loom. Um, and you know, you can make these as big or as small as you want. For smaller hands, I think that having you know lots of space and fewer strings down the front here um, really help uh, expedite the process. But if you really want to take some time with this, um, feel free to make it bigger and have a lot more uh, surface area to work on. So we're going to take our scissors here. And so as I said, I made some marks here. They're about an inch apart. Make sure that they are evenly spaced on both sides of this cardboard. And then we're going to make some incisions. And I'm going about a fourth of an inch or so um, into my cardboard here. So it doesn't need to be too deep. You just need to make sure that, um, that you're being consistent though. That's always helpful. So how do we make a loom? All right, so we're gonna take the yarn from one of my many knitting projects, but like I said, you can use whatever string you want to. So I have put my string into my first hole right here. I'm going to use my tape to take down this tail, just so that way we make sure that we have a nice, strong bond here. Then I'm going to put it down to the next hole, make sure it's nice and secure there, or the next incision there. Then on the back side, I am moving it around right here to the next hole, or to the next cut. So you see that? This is the front, and you see how you can come right back up. Repeat that process right here, so you see in the back, going around this cut to the next hole, or to the next cut, and down to that parallel cut. Then again, you basically just repeat this process until you are finished. And so if you have smaller hands at home, you might need to help out with this, but that's okay. All right, and then we're going to finish it off at the very top here. I'm going to use my scissors again to cut off the extra string and use my tape to make that string hold more tightly. So you can use a variety of different kinds of fabric or paper or other objects. You can include um, grasses from your yard or other leaves if you'd like to put that in. But the basic idea is you're going over, under, over, under, over, under. And this can be really challenging for small hands. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use something that's a little bit thicker because I think this is going to be a little bit easier. Um, and so what this is is a piece of t-shirt. So basically the idea is here is an old t-shirt. You cut at the bottom of your shirt here. See, I've already made a few cuts on this thing. <laughs> I'm using some stronger scissors for this too. About an inch or so. So right here. A little bit more, that's okay too. Make sure you get past that seam. And then you're going to rip it up all the way up. And it's really interesting because these woven cotton shirts often have um, sort of a, a grain to them. So they tend to tear up pretty um, pretty evenly. So look, you have some new string here and then I always cut off the part here where they have the hem from the original shirt there. 
you know, pull it a little bit tighter and you end up with some really great string. Start off, we're gonna go under, then over, then under, and then over. All right, and so you see we have the beginning of our uh, woven project. And so I'm gonna pull it all the way through here so that way I have a little bit of a tail. Then we're gonna go back around. So you see how this part right here is over? Well, we're gonna go under it now. So you go the opposite way, and that's what creates that nice, strong bond that you see in your fabric. All right, ta-da. Here we go. And there is our project. And you can keep going here. I think it's very fun. If you use yarn or something a little bit thinner than this t-shirt material, um, if you are having difficulty with grasping the um, yarn, then you can add either tape to it or if you have a you know thick embroidery needle, you could also use that. But you can see here, this is how our basic weaving project will go. And so if you are finished with that, you can just cut off the tail if you'd like to and start using some other materials. Um, I also have cut up some paper. I think that's kind of a fun texture to use for um, weaving as well. Like I said, you can use a bunch of different things here. So using little strips like that. I also have some twine. Um, so there's all sorts of different things that you can use to create your project. Um, here is a finished version. And so you can see all the different uh, objects that I've used here. And again, you can just add other things into it for decoration. If you want to add beads, you can add that, feathers, leaves, anything like that you want to make it your own, feel free to go forward and do. <laughs> so that's our project for today. If you are interested in more videos like this, check out tappedmuseum.org, follow us on social media, hashtag tappedmuseumdiscovered. And so until next time, stay well. Thanks.